Senator Wu. Honorable colleagues, His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh was laid to rest on Saturday, 17 April, at St. George's Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle. Many of the funeral arrangements were planned by Prince Philip himself, especially the choice of music, which included several pieces with a strong connection to his time in the Navy. One such piece was Eternal Father Strong to Save. This same hymn was played in Canada by the Dominion Carillonneau on the same day from the Peace Tower in Ottawa. The first verse goes as follows. Eternal Father, strong to save, whose arm doth bond the restless wave, who bids the mighty ocean deep, its own appointed limits keep. O oh, hear us when we cry to thee, for those in peril on the sea. There are so many ways in which this hymn resonates with our times, and indeed with the life of His Royal Highness, who started life as an exile, served in the Royal Navy, and was for our monarch over a period of 73 years, Her Majesty's stay and strength. The commemorative ceremony in Ottawa also featured an original piece of music composed specifically for the occasion by Petty Officer Second Class Nadia Pona of the Royal Canadian Navy, entitled His Royal Service Ends, the piece celebrates the life of Prince Philip in honour of His Royal Highness's special bond with the Canadian Armed Forces and his naval career. Still on the nautical theme, Prince Philip was instrumental in the creation of the Maritime Museum of British Columbia. After his first visit to BC in 1951, he contacted the Greenwich Museum and asked for the museum to send a collection of objects to the province in order to start a new naval museum. Colleagues, Prince Philip visited my home province of British Columbia 12 times. Here are just a few of his notable visits. In 1954, he came to Victoria, attended the British Empire and Commonwealth Games in Vancouver, where he witnessed the Miracle Mile and also poured the first aluminum ingot at the new smelter in Kitimat. In 1971, on the centenary of BC joining Confederation, the royal visitors sailed from Vancouver to Victoria on the Royal Yacht Britannica. In 2002, Prince Philip's final visit to BC, they made an 11-day visit to Canada on the last leg of the Commonwealth Golden Jubilee Tour, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Queen's coronation. The Queen unveiled a stained glass window in the BC Legislature in Victoria and dropped the puck at an NHL exhibition game in Vancouver. Of course, the Canucks won. To Her Majesty and the Royal Family, we offer our deepest condolences.